Hey guys, it's Lindsay from the blog RepurposingUpCycle.com and I want to talk to you today about decorating for seasons, specifically fall, on a budget. I'm a huge believer that it doesn't cost a lot of money or take a lot of time to decorate your home for the holidays. Okay, when you think about decorating for the holidays, the first thing you probably think about is going out to the store and buying a bunch of um, holiday decor, right? In my opinion, wrong. My opinion is shop the house, shop thrift stores. There are so many budget places to go to find great decor for a margin of the cost that you would uh, buying it brand new at a holiday decor store. I'm a huge fan of signs and decor, but if you're not big on like the farmhouse signs, pictures work just as well, or just something decorative. Now, with me um, decorating my mantle, the first thing I wanted to do was create something in the center to create visual interest, something large and something to really fill up that space. Now, I created this free uh, fall printable sign. You can see it on my blog, I'll link it below. But I had this printed on a canvas and this is gonna be my piece of visual interest. If you don't wanna do this, if you wanna make your own sign, let me show you a quick and easy way to do this. I created my own fall decor on just a two by four. Now, if you want to make it bigger, you can get a big piece of plywood and then just use chalkboard paint. Paint chalkboard paint on it and then create whatever sign you want. And the cool thing about this is you can erase it and change it out for the season. So rather than happy fall, y'all, you can say Merry Christmas or happy holidays or um, happy Halloween, whatever you want. That's the great thing about a chalkboard sign is you can reuse it over and over. So that way, A, you're not purchasing new decor for each season, and B, it's much easier to store. My second big suggestion for decorating on a budget is going to places like the Dollar Store, the Dollar Tree, Target Dollar Spot has fabulous deals on certain holiday decor. Every season they'll roll out new stuff. So hit up the Target Dollar Spot, hit up the Dollar Stores, they always have great seasonal decor. And also don't rule out thrift stores. Let me show you. I found these little vases, they were 50 cents each. And a lot of people will go by and they're like, eh, glass vases. But let me show you, don't rule out spray painting them either. Say your, um, say your colors for, for your decor are copper and brown and white. You can buy spray paint in those specific colors. Let me show you. This was a black bowl that I bought at a thrift store. All I did was I took this copper hammered paint and I spray painted it. And now, the great part is, I didn't really spend a whole lot of money, I spray painted it and now it matches the rest of the decor because um, with my bookshelves and my mantle, I'm really going for the copper, the greens, the whites, and the neutrals. My point is don't ever underestimate the power of paint. Um, especially if you find something fairly inexpensive that the color just doesn't fit. There are so many spray paints and so many different colors and textures today. There's no excuse for not bringing that home and just spray painting it to make it blend. My other big holiday decorating tip is less is more. If you're like me, I don't carry a lot of holiday decor. So when I go to use it, sometimes it's a little overwhelming because I feel like it's not enough. But really, sometimes less is more. Like here, I thought about adding um, like some garland and something up here, but then I thought, you know what? It looks fine like it is. I just added a few pumpkins. I added uh, some greenery in a fall color. I added my centerpiece for visual interest, and I think I'm gonna call it quits. And I think it looks great, just like it is. So really, just remember when you're decorating, sometimes less is more. Quick tip when you're decorating things like a mantle or bookshelves is there's a general rule of thumb that when you're grouping things, three looks better than two or one. So you can see how I've grouped these in little sections of three and also varying the height levels. So I have something tall and I have something a little bit bigger 
and then a little bit smaller. So varying textures, varying heights, and varying colors. It creates visual interest and it makes it look good. So here you'll see I have my centerpiece for visual interest. This is tall. And then I have different things on the side for varying height and varying text. One big tip is there's no right or wrong way to do this. Certain ways to do it to make it a little more visual appealing, but um, it all comes down to your taste and how you want it to look. So just get in there, rearrange things, play with it, and you'll find what you like the best. I hope you've enjoyed these few little quick tips on how to decorate for any holiday season on a budget. Thanks for watching guys.